Disney's Beauty and the Beast, The Birthday Surprise. There's a good horse, Belle said as she finished combing Philippe's silky mane. She patted his nose gently and led him into his stall. Philippe whinnied softly. Belle waved as she left the stables. See you tomorrow, she cried. That evening, Belle was very quiet. She was thinking about a surprise. Felipe's birthday is coming up, she said. I want to do something really nice for him this year. The prince smiled. I'll help however I can, he said. What about carrots, Chip said. If you plant some in the garden now. They'll be ready by his birthday, Belle finished. What a lovely idea. The next day, Belle bought some carrot seeds. Belle and Chip dug tidy rows of little holes. They dropped the seeds in and covered them up. The prince got water from the well to sprinkle on top. Every morning, Belle went to the garden to check the carrots. They grow so slowly, she said to Mrs. Potts. I hope they'll be ready in time for Felipe's birthday, Chip said. Don't worry, my dears, Mrs. Potts said. It'll all work out fine. Belle had something else to worry about, however. Felipe was always trying to visit the garden. I think he can smell them, Chip said. The surprise will be ruined if he finds out about the C-A-R-R-O-T-S, Belle told the prince. I've got an idea, the prince cried. This should do the trick, the prince said as he laid down a trail of apple slices. Belle laughed. That is the perfect distraction, she said. For today, anyway. On the morning of Felipe's birthday, the carrots were big and plump and ripe. Perfect, Belle cried. She picked a dozen of the largest carrots, and there are plenty left for later. Here, Chip said, tying a big bunch up with a ribbon. All day long, Belle smiled as she thought about how happy Felipe would be with his present. Finally, it was time to visit the stable. Belle hid the carrots behind her back and walked in with Chip and the Prince. Happy birthday, Felipe, they all cried. Felipe's eyes went wide and his nose went woof. He neighed happily. Just as Felipe was digging in, Mrs. Potts appeared. Belle, you were so worried about Felipe's birthday that you forgot something important. Belle looked puzzled. You forgot your own birthday, the prince said. It's tomorrow. Belle's jaw dropped. How silly of her. She had completely lost track of time while she worked on Felipe's gift. We didn't forget, Chip said. We decided to start the celebration early, the prince added. Mrs. Potts carried in a huge cake. I made you a carrot cake, she said. We can celebrate our birthdays together, Belle told Felipe. 
and then she hugged everyone. The end. I hope you've enjoyed this story, Beauty and the Beast, the birthday surprise. I hope you'll come back for more stories. Bye, Grandma.